A few years back, actress Jodie Foster sold her stunning Beverly Hills mansion for $14.9 million after originally being listed at $15.9 million. The very secluded 7,500 square foot home features a private garden walkway leading to a double height entrance. This opens into a traditional style foyer with sun-filled rooms at every turn. The kitchen boasts a vaulted ceiling and several sets of French doors opening to the brick patio, while the luxury amenities continue both inside and outside the home. Foster purchased the home from veteran producer Colin Callender for $11.75 million in 2012 and lived at the property for many years. Before we get into this video, in case you didn't know, I'm Kara or Kara the Vampire Slayer and I love hosting these videos for you. Be sure to stay tuned until the end and I'll share how to contact me because I'd love to chat with you guys and get in touch. Jodie Foster, born in 1962 in Los Angeles, California, is a celebrated actress, director, and producer. Raised by her mother, Brandi Foster, Jodie demonstrated exceptional talent and intelligence from a young age. She started her career in showbiz at just three years old, appearing in commercials, while her breakthrough role came in Martin Scorsese's Taxi Driver when she was only 14. This performance earned her an Academy Award nomination and set the stage for a stellar career. Foster's career soared with power Powerful performances in films like The Accused in 1988 and The Silence of the Lambs in 1991, both of which won her Academy Awards for Best Actress. Foster has balanced her acting career with successful ventures into directing and producing. Her directorial works include Little Man Tate in 1991, Home for the Holidays in 95, and The Beaver in 2011. Jodie's personal life has always been a subject of interest due to her privacy. In 2014, she married photographer and actress Alexandra Hedison. Their love story is one of mutual respect, shared passions, and a deep connection. Hedison, known for her role in The L Word and her work as a photographer, complements Foster's life perfectly. The couple, who had known each other for years before their relationship turned romantic, are often seen as one of Hollywood's most stable and grounded pairs. Foster is the mother of two sons, Charles Charlie Bernard Foster, born in 1998, and Christopher Kit Foster, born in 2001. She has always been protective of her children's privacy, ensuring that they lead normal lives away from the limelight. Despite the demands of her career, Foster prioritizes her role as a mom, fostering a close-knit family environment. Jodi's love for privacy is also reflected in her choice of homes. One of her notable residences is a stunning 7,500 square foot home in Beverly Hills, which was very secluded and sprawling, making for the ideal sanctuary to unwind with her family. Despite her busy career, Foster ensures that her home life is a priority. She enjoys spending quality time with her family, often engaging in simple, everyday activities. Foster and Hedison share a love for art, literature, and cinema, often spending their their evenings discussing their latest projects or enjoying a quiet movie night at home. In 2020, Jodie Foster sold one of her properties, this one located in Calabasas, California. The Spanish style home sold for $2.65 million, only slightly below the asking price. The home was only one level, but it boasted a ton of large-scale spaces and packed in more than you'd expect. This beautiful single-story estate was located in the upscale gated community of the Oaks of Calabasas and featured four bedrooms, five bathrooms, and 4,920 square feet of space. Foster purchased the property in 2005 for $2.26 million. Upon entry, you are welcomed by a charming and inviting central courtyard, featuring an outdoor fireplace, which is ideal for socializing on a warm Southern California evening. The great room is the heart of the home, with soaring 25-foot ceilings, a grand fireplace, and French doors leading to the entertainer's backyard. These French doors create a seamless indoor-outdoor flow. The family room includes built-in shelves, as well as an entertainment alcove. The home also features a home 
home office and a second story bonus room that could serve as either a study or maybe a small bedroom. Over in the chef's kitchen, you'll find elegant stone countertops, state-of-the-art stainless steel appliances, as well as a large center island. The breakfast bar and informal dining area offers pleasant views of the sunny backyard. The master bedroom includes spacious walk-in closets and the master bathroom features double vanities and a spa with soaking tub. Outside, the property offers a charming covered patio and an elegant outdoor living area, perfect for al fresco dining, while elsewhere in the grounds, there's an inviting pool for cooling off. Now let's look at another home. Jody Foster's Beverly Hills, California estate reflects her meticulous attention to detail and her eye for design and privacy. Listed a few years back at $15.9 million, this 7,500 square foot home, originally built in the 1950s and newly renovated, is located near Coldwater Canyon. This estate is shielded from the street by a privacy hedge, and once inside, a sunlit world opens up, featuring panoramic views and bright interiors. Jody's Coldwater Canyon home was elegant and understated, and she purchased it in 2012 from producer Colin Callender for $11.75 million. The entry foyer is highlighted by its double height ceiling, accented by a modern chandelier and dramatic staircase, leading to the private living areas. These include five bedrooms and seven baths. The entryway then flows seamlessly into the main living room. The dark wood flooring contrasts beautifully with the gleaming white and gray walls throughout. The main living area features an oversized fireplace, expansive floor-to-ceiling French windows, and views of the canyon below. A trellis-shaded brick terrace outside extends the view to include Beverly Hills, Century City, Santa Monica, and even the Pacific Ocean. The living room's floor-to-ceiling French doors open to a brick terrace with canyon views, while next to the living Living room is a country style kitchen. Jody's kitchen offered vaulted beam ceilings, state of the art appliances, and large doors that led to the brick terrace, which includes an outdoor fireplace, grill, and dining areas. Other ground floor rooms include a spacious formal dining room as well as a media room. The second level of the home holds the master bedroom along with other guest rooms. The impressive master suite features beamed, vaulted ceilings, a fireplace, and a private deck accessible from the ensuite master bath, which is perfect for watching sunsets. Now the master bedroom even has a cute corner window with views towards the Pacific. Most of the second story rooms benefit from the views provided by the unique lot, which is desirable due to its half acre size, as well as the seclusion and commanding location. On the grounds, there's a spacious lawn and swimming pool with space for sunbathing and dining, as well as a patio shaded by a leafy trellis and mature trees all around. The home's most impressive profile is seen from the pool area where you can see all of its balconies and design. This secluded, luxurious residence perched on a high ridge line, yet only minutes away from Beverly Hills, is the perfect trophy home. So it's definitely clear to see why Jodie Foster and her family enjoyed it for so many years. While it remains unclear where Jodie Foster spends most of her time living these days, that doesn't come as much of a surprise considering how much she values her privacy. Jodie's dedication to her family and her ability to balance her professional and personal life shows her grounded nature and strong sense of priorities. Her homes have been a refuge from the hustle and bustle of Hollywood, places where she can nurture her relationships and recharge her creative energy. Her love story with Alexandra Hedison, her commitment to her children, and her beautifully curated homes reflect a life well lived. That wraps up our house tour for today, but before we go, try and answer this question for me. Which Jodie Foster movie or show is your personal favorite? Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer, follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Kara, or Kara the Vampire Slayer as you might know me, and given my love for all things house and home, I recently wanted to get more hands on myself, and I started tackling DIY projects at my own house. Being a new homeowner, there are plenty of unexpected things to fix, and it's cool to learn what you're doing and hopefully be able to fix it yourself. 
There are also plenty of DIY projects suitable for beginners like me to do and ones that improve the look of your space drastically. Follow me and I'll teach you what I'm learning and motivate you to join me. You can DIY on a budget even if you're a total beginner. Follow me on Fix It with Kara and we can chat.